We begin with news that singer Natalie Cole has died. Asha Tomlinson joins us now with more from our newsroom. Asha, what are we learning about Cole's death? Natalie Cole's son, uh, Robert Yancey, and her sisters issued a statement to the Associated Press confirming the news. Uh, Natalie Cole died Thursday evening at Cedar sinai Hospital in Los Angeles due to complications from ongoing health issues. Cole had canceled uh, some appearances in the last few weeks after becoming sick, and she had suffered from a long list of health problems that date back to 2008 when she had liver disease. She underwent chemotherapy for hepatitis C. Within months, she had kidney failure, even receiving a kidney transplant successfully a year later in 2009. She did blame a lot of her health problems on her substance abuse. In her 2000 autobiography, she revealed her battle with heroin, crack cocaine, and alcohol. Uh, it led to a stint in rehab. She's been very open about her struggles, but she did turn her life around. She kept on touring and singing, even saying in an interview that she's testament that you can have turbulent times in life and still be victorious. And that's really echoing uh, that sentiment we're seeing in the family statement. It says this to quote, Natalie fought a fierce, courageous battle, dying how she lived with dignity, strength and honor. Our beloved mother and sister will be greatly missed and remain unforgettable in our hearts forever. Lindsay. Asha, that reference to Unforgettable was about a turning point in her career mm -hmm. and a performance, a record that really resonated with a lot of people. It really did. And the song Unforgettable was her biggest hit back in 1991. Many will remember it. It was a virtual duet with her legendary crooner father, Nat King Cole, a remake of his classic. Let's listen to Unforgettable. That's how you stay. That's how you stay. That's why, darling, it's incredible. That someone so unforgettable thinks that I. A lot of people playing that song today. She had an album with the same title. It was a tribute to her dad, a, a remake of some of his best known songs with her voice spliced in. The album sold 14 million copies, won six Grammys, including Song of the Year. And in interviews after this project, Natalie Cole said that this was really closure for her. She cried a whole lot because it really took her back to the time when she would be singing duets with her dad at the tender age of six. And this was her way of reconnecting because he died before her solo career was launched. Uh, we are seeing a lot of reaction on social media, uh, sort of offering condolences to the family and paying tribute to this huge star. Uh, Marley Matlin saying, I'm saddened by the news of the passing of my friend Natalie Cole, lovely songbird and great actress too. She's now singing in heaven. And this from Rosie O'Donnell, we will miss her like crazy. And she posts a YouTube video of Natalie Cole singing that song live in Tokyo. Natalie Cole, dead at 65. Thanks, Asha. You're welcome.